there it's me Ebony and uh, I've been requested several times to talk more about my nail polish collection and how I care for my nails so I didn't forget I know it might have seemed like I did because it's been so long since you asked but here I am uh, so the first thing that I should tell you guys is that I have a decent nail polish collection but I personally don't pay full price for polishes um, mainly because I like to have a lot of options and I do mine myself um, it's fun to have a lot of colors to choose from and so, therefore, I don't pay full price. I do buy professional brands, but I always either get them after the collection has gotten old, um, on clearance or something. Um, department stores that sell will often have like the, the winter colors on sale come spring or the older collections and stuff like that. TJ Maxx always has them like half price or, you know, package two or three for a great price. Um, Alta has a sales section, TJ Maxx, so usually I'll buy them for like half price around there. And more recently I found some nail supply stores that have them on sale and um, they sometimes just like a beauty supply store, certain beauty supply stores you have to have, be a licensed professional and sometimes you don't. So uh, I found where they've had them from as cheap as one dollar, one to three dollars for SE, OPI. Um, China Glaze, you know, some of the other brands that you see in beauty supply stores. So uh, check out and see if you have any local nail supply stores, okay? That being said, I'm not going to go through my whole entire nail collection. What I'm going to do today is share with you some of my favorite summer color options. So a lot of times if I'm watching somebody's video and I see their nail color, I will then think, oh, I have something similar and it'll make me want to use that. So I'll share with you the name of each one, but sometimes it just might be something you want to try, right? Okay, so I'm going to separate it by brand, starting with Orly, and this one um, I'm actually wearing on my nails now, so pardon the posing, but isn't that pretty for summer and so bright? So this is um, OP Orly, excuse me, Orly is available through Sally's, and of course Sally's always has good sales, um, and this is Basket Case, that's the color that I'm wearing on my nails right now, and it's a pink. The light kind of is making it look purple, but it's actually like a hot pink. And um, so that's one. Let me turn on the light here. Okay. The next one is um, Green Apple. And that's the best description for this color because it really is like a very bright candy apple, green apple color. And this is Orly. Um, this one I had on my nails just last week. It is Ancient Jade by Orly. And this one was so pretty. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much. Um, so those are my three Orly colors and picks for the summer. Some of them are still available now from Sally's. Um, so now moving on to OPI. This color is uh, too hot pink to hold them. Okay, so this is like a watermelon type pink. That's a really good description. The only problem with this polish is it's a little bit thin and I personally prefer cream polishes but this one just is a very rich color and it's watermelon pink so it's not quite hot pink it's not red pink it's very unique on its own too hot to hold on. This one is kind of a duochrome significant other color and it's kind of a duochrome type finish where it's pink purple. Okay, sorry about that. It's pink purple duochrome. And I just think that that's really, really pretty um, for the summer. This one is Rumpel's Wiggin. Rumpel's Wiggin. This was from the Shrek collection, and I got it at TJ Maxx. I remember that. Um, so this is like a, a opaque lavender color. And the last one from OPI is Gargantuan Green. And this one, I have a few greens. I didn't really realize. I must have gone on a green crazy binge or something because I have quite a few greens. This one is um, a pale, paler. It's not, I mean, compared to the, the this one, you know, it's a paler green. Um, so it's really, really pretty. I like it. <clears throat> okay. Now for my Essie polishes. Essie to me is one of the most underrated nail brands. I love Essie. 
Um, this one is called Navigate Her. I told you I went green crazy, right? I realized that. Not, no more greens for me. But Navigate Her. This is a newer polish. I think this one's still available in stores now. Um, and this one's a very nice mint green. And I like this one because the formula is very good. It's so creamy and it's nice. Um, Sugar Daddy, which is a candy pink. Very pretty. And this one is a, a hot pink. Um, it's called Raspberry, so that's easy enough. And it has, it's cream, but it has um, like a really high shine. So just to compare it to the one that's on my nails, you can see the difference in the bottles. Yeah, so very nice. And Revlon. And I actually have quite a few Revlon polishes. Um, usually when CVS has their mega sales, I'll go and, and get a couple. Um, Peachy. Let me check. I'm going by memory. Yeah, Peachy by Revlon. This one is like such a perfect coral shade. I love it. And I've, I've had pictures of most of these on my blog. Um, this one is Minted. So this is very similar to Navigate Her. Had I remembered that I had this one, like looking at them side by side, <laughs> yeah, that I probably didn't need to buy this one, but I didn't even realize, uh, yeah. So I can't. I have no defense for this one, but I do love this polish too. And then this one is kind of a nude color or a peach color, pale. But it's perfect nude for the summer. It's not like a true nude. You know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's definitely a very nice. And this actually, um, by Revlon, is the scented ones. Which let me just say this: they do, they they are scented, but they still smell like nail polish. So if you're thinking it's gonna smell amazing, you know, probably not. But I did like it. I was curious about the scented, and and the color is very unique. I love it, and so. This one is called a uh, peach smoothie. So if you do see this one by Revlon in the stores, I would recommend it. It's a very nice nude for the summertime. And lastly, I have um, a very bright orange that I just bought not that long ago. And I, actually, I think I did a haul talking about the Zoya polishes. And um, this one, I've worn it twice. This one is a uh, Paz by Zoya. And it's a... Uh